Well, residents of Barut are expressing fears that a local quarry may soon collapse due to heavy rains in the area. Wazengishu is one of the counties forecasted uh, to receive more rainfall in the weeks or in the days or weeks to come. Let's now speak to our reporter, Joan Latin, for more details. Joan Latin, good morning. How bad is the situation in Rift Valley region? Joanne Latin, good morning. If you can hear me, kindly bring us up to date with how the situation is when it comes to the wrath of Mother Nature that has been witnessed in Garissa and West Pokot County, where we saw at least 52 people lose their lives and several others. There's still nursing injuries uh, in the, the county referral hospital. Of course, the government has remained adamant that it's doing all it can to ensure that all Kenyans are safe, with the weatherman as saying that Kenyans should continue bracing you know, themselves for more rainfalls in the coming days. Of course, this morning witnessed, you know, heavy downpour here in Nairobi and residents are also being asked to also watch out um, because of uh, flooding. Let's now, you know, get more updates from our, call, our Nakuru based reporter, Joanne Latin, for more details of what's happening in, Naku, in uh, the Rift Valley region, especially when it comes to the wrath of Mother Nature in that county. Joanne Latin, uh, good morning. What do you have for us when it comes uh, to flooding or any, you know, incidences that have been reported because of the heavy downpour? downpour in the country. Nakuru. It is rather an interesting morning here. We understand that the waters have been uh, wrecking havoc in this section of Barut in Nakuru. Allow me to show you a few pictures of this uh, place. This was supposed to be, this was a quarry in the past, but um, it has never been filled up after uh, the the quarry services were finished. And as you can see, uh, that was that is a road which was being constructed, but apparently it is now starting to crack, and soon it could be a major disaster. But to give you a clear picture, I'm going to speak to a few residents here who are going to to. Um, explain to us more about uh, the situation here in Barut. Uh, sir, uh, welcome to KTA News. Unaweza tueleza zaidi kuhusiana na haya. Kwa majina ni Bernard. Tanui kutoka Barut. Panda Suimit. So tulikuwa tunaomba serikali tusaidie kututengenezee barabara manake tunaona imechimbuka pale na this is a main road na tuko na daraja pia hapa chini ambaye tuko na the same same problem ambaye ambaye mvua ikinyesha kidogo inafurika na tunakosa mahali pa kupita so tulikuwa tunaomba serikali waweze kutusaidia kwa kututengenezea barabara manake tuko na tatizo hapo kama hii area so imet barabara zimechimbuka kabisa na unaona kama pale kuna manyumba na inaweza hii barabara inaweza anguka na bado yangusha manyumba kama zile za West Pokot so tulikuwa tunaomba serikali watuone kwa upande hiyo labda tulipozungumza hapo awali ulitueleza kuhusu ile bridge inayopita pale labda utueleze zaidi yeah tuko na daraja pale ambayo iko 100 meters kutoka hapa na mvua kidogo hata ikinyesha huwa inafurika so mahali pa kuzunguka inakuwa ni mbali sana na aswa wakati wa shule kama imefunguliwa huwa mvua ikinyesha kupeleka watoto shule huwa inakuwa ni shida kwa upande wetu manake inastahili tunazunguka tunazunguka mbali watoto wanafika kama wamechelewa na na pia watoto wakitoka shule unaweza pata mtoto anaweza kuja pale abebwa na maji aswa tuko na cases ambayo watu wamebebwa na maji pale wanapotoka shuleni yeah. So tulikuwa tunaomba serikali tusaidie kama kwa daraja waweza kutuinilia juu ama tutengenezee daraja ambaye ni ya kisasa ambaye itatusaidia kama wananchi wa hapa upande wa Soimet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Asanti sana. Labda niweze kuzungumza nawe. Una yapi ya kusema? Yeah. kwa majina ni Julius Ngeno, mimi ni mtu hapa, mimi nafanya boda. So benye tumeona dalili kwa hii barabara kweli inaweza lete madhara kidogo. So tungeomba serikali ya Nakuru County na serikali kuu atusaidie kwa maana hapa si barabara ya kila mtu na mimi naona hapa ni senda na hapa kuteremka chini naenda paka town so tungeomba serikali atusaidie atuangalie vizuri ndio isikue kesho tusitukie hadi mepepa mtu ni hayo tu labda niweze kuzungumza na wewe mzee uh, kulingana na haya watu wamesema kwamba kuna shida ya labda maji inaweza kufika kwa nyumba zile labda una yapi ya kusema Ya yeah, asante sana mimi ni Councilor Chori Nyandika. Mimi ni chirani yao hapa uh, Ronda. Na mimi ndio chairman ya ya Kiship yenye imeunda ile or drainage ya uh, Ronda na Kapotembwa. Eh uh, kulingana bila wananchi wamesungumza ni ukweli. Ukiangalia hapa uh, mchanga hii ni kwale. 
kuna wasee walilima na watu wakalima pale ndani pale walifikia mchanga peke, eh, maji kafuata mkondo na vile lifuata mkondo imeangusa hiyo mchanga paka imefika kwa parapara na maoni yangu ni ya kwamba ya kwamba wananchi wachunge watoto kwa sababu hii hii tisa session ya mfua kunyesa na watoto wasiingie eh, katikati because end time itasa kwa nguko kuta ya kwamba imefunika ime wananchi na bili kuna manyumba yenye simechengwa hapa karibu sisi naomba ya kwamba eh, hao wenye manyumba wawe careful sana because end time itasa kunyesa na ukuta hii manyumba simeanguka chini sasa ni msuri tusungumuse kapu na watu wabachafanya nini abachakufa asante sana yeah. niruhusu ni kukatisho kwa sababu ya wakati asante sana Brenda that is the situation here in uh, Barut in Nakuru county but uh, they are calling on the government to come through for them and so this situation before it becomes a disaster back to you